All right, we're going to try this again. I have calmed down a little bit. I am <laughs> not going to believe this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've never had anything like this happen in my life. It's uh, November the 5th, and I'm looking all around. I'm out here on public land, uh, up in, 20 feet up in the tree. Oh, it's still shaking some, but not as bad as it was. Anyway, uh, the second week of October, I took a doe with my uh, with my crossbow and uh, got her. Had three tags left to, to try to fill, and this is uh, the first week of gun season here in Texas. <coughs> oh man, just trying to calm down. I'm just enjoying this feeling, uh, cause I tell you, uh, not trying to be weird or or super spiritual, or whatever. But uh, you know, the God in heaven is what gives us these animals, gives us the deer. Uh, and boy, He blessed this morning. I uh, again, I'm in my my tree stand, about 20 feet off the ground. We had a storm come through last night, and uh, I mean it rained bad. Then all cleared out. Look, sun's fixing to try to come out here in a few minutes, and uh, so I'm set up in the trail overlooking some trails. I'll show you some video here in a few minutes, overlooking some trails, and probably oh good night. What time is it? It is. Probably about 9.30, 9.20, I heard something off to my right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this thing's still shaking. I'm trying to get this out of my system. It's a, it's a good feeling I have. <laughs> oh, I'll switch hands here. Let me pull my chest. There we go. I keep looking around. I can't shoot nothing else this year. Because I'll tell you what happened. Uh, right along this trail right in front of me. I mean not 25 yards away. Uh, Doe came in. She was in heat. I heard him coming over the ridge from my right. Uh, she come in and probably 5-10 yards behind her. There's a funky looking uh a one antler deer, which classifies as a spike. So she, uh, by the time I got my, my gun, I'm using my lever action, a uh, Rossi 92 uh, lever action. It's in 45 long colt. I come up with some, uh, some hunting rounds for it. I'm hoping to recover at least one or two of the rounds from the, from the, the deer. She come past me and uh, I had the gun up he come past me. I, I grunted, slopped, stopped him, shot him. Well, what happened was is uh, she stopped and she turned around and she came back the same way that she came. He went past her and he's staggering around. I cranked another round in that lever action. She stopped right in front of me. I, I, I'm telling you, she's straight ahead of me I gotta stop this video I'm shaking so bad it is a little chilly too and she's looking right at me now if that was a an archery shot I would not have taken it but uh I put it right in the crosshairs right between her two lower neck right in the middle of her chest pulled the trigger and she dropped I mean she didn't she didn't take another step she dropped and just laid out right there and I'm hanging I'm, I'm still shaking you can see the camera shaking so man I'm so excited and I'm just I started crying you know and uh, it's been tough hunting it was tough hunting last year only got one deer you know wanting to fill the freezer like like a you know would like a nice nice uh, uh, a nice buck and so, 
you know, I was praying as I was driving out here this morning, asking about it, asking the Lord for it. I don't deserve it, but uh, somewhat, somehow he decided to bless. Anyway, uh, this, those two are down. So I start kind of texting people, trying to calm down, trying to, you know, just take in everything that just happened. And I realized I hadn't cranked around in the, in the gun. So when he hadn't cranked and moved around, and I, I leaned back to my left to hang it on the hanger, and there's something to my right. I look back, and there's a stinking buck. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if it's an eight point, seven point, eight point. Um, he's not an old deer, but he's a he's a good looking deer. And I, you know, I only started hunting six, five, six years ago. And I'm not like some of these guys that shoot these great big giant deer up north and, you know, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and these different, these giant deer. Down here in northeast Texas, we got, you know, our deer smaller. And, uh, but he come walking through. He come walking right up to that, that doe that's right in front of me. He smelled her, and he started walking past her. She came, he came in the clearing. I, uh, I bleated or, or yelped. And stopped him and shot him too. And he's over to my left, dead. I can see him. He walked over there by the tree. And he's just standing there. And I can see blood squirting out of his sides like a water faucet. And uh, all of a sudden he just tipped over. He didn't thrash around or anything. He tipped over and that was probably 25 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago maybe. They're all three dead. <laughs> I'm tagged out this year. You know, my hunting season is done. So, which is a good thing. Plenty of meat for the freezer. Uh, that uh, that 45 long colt uh, out of this Rossi, what I did is I, I couldn't find any decent hunting rounds online. Uh, people had them, but nobody was in stock. They're all back ordered. So I found some... Uh, XTP uh, 250 grain uh, hollow points and I put them on top of uh, some blue dot and I mean uh, I didn't do a video about it but we sh I shot them and he went through four water jugs and the fifth jug clocking about 1200 feet per second and it's just a nice pretty little mushroom so anyway I'm gonna uh, pause this for a second and then flip the flip the phone around so I can kind of show you a video of, of where uh, where I'm at, and then I uh, will put this together. And here's my setup. Here's my my uh, bee sticks. I got my bee stand. I actually saddle hunt out of my bee stand, and uh, uh, this thing is just incredible. My backpack set up on my tree, and I uh, got my rifle there. Oh, hello. Hello there, Mr. Inchworm. How you doing? I guess somebody wants to be in the video, too. There we go. And, uh, that 45 long, I mean, it, it did the job. It did the job, so. It's about, um, probably 55. 50, 55. And I kept my thermoshell out because I figured I'd be here all day. When it warmed up, the mosquitoes would get out. Anyway, let's see. I don't know if we can... Uh, I can't, yeah, I can't see the, I can't see the buck from, from right there. Anyway, let's climb down and, and, uh, pack it up. Now the work starts the rest of the day. All right, got my stuff. There's my tree. Up here where those two branches come off to the left. That's where my stand was, right up there. And there's the first deer. There's the doe. It's been about 40, 40 minutes. They're, they're dead. They are dead. You can see this trail. You can see this trail goes, goes right up through there. Goes right up there. 
There she is. Now the work starts. It don't look like it came out the back. Let's see. Oh. Let's see, I'm gonna. Okay, shot her. You can see the blood. Look at that. Went through the. There's the entrance hole right there. Went through the neck. So she is done. She's a decent sized doe. And they kept running up this trail here. It's funky looking one. He's got one horn, which classifies as a as a spike. He wandered around all up and through here. And he got over here. And there he is. Unbelievable. This is just stinking unbelievable. There's the the uh, entrance hole. Oh. Yep, he's a spike. So there's my my doe tag. There's my spike tag. And then I rechambered the gun. Let me get over here right and then that other that other deer came in smelled her and I killed him I am done for the year let's see here I know he's let me get around these vines and stuff yeah the work's gonna start now there he is right over there Yeah, he come he come running off. Like I said he I shot him, he he ran. There's the entrance wound. Yeah, he's he's close. He's close. But I'll take him. I'll take him. And I don't know if he can so let me see if I can zoom in. You see that stuff laying on the ground, that's where my, my stuff's at. And uh just amazing, amazing morning. I feel so blessed. So blessed. God is so good. Anyway, hey, I appreciate you watching. And uh, take care. Yeah, a little side note. When I, this is the, the buck. That's the entrance run. And then it came out uh, closer to the front on the other side. I just went through and through. Um course it's you know he was he was quartering away from me just a little bit and I'm 20 feet up in the air because of the angle of the shot and everything it did the job here he stood right here there's one puddle of blood that came out one side and there's another puddle of blood that came out the other side so uh yeah that works